what is going on guys and welcome back to another video and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to create 3d text instead of after effects now before we get started with this tutorial you will need a plugin called element 3d i'll have it linked down in the description below now it is pretty expensive so you can go ahead and download that or you know use a different method but once you have element 3d that's pretty much the only plugin that you need for this effect first thing that we want to do is 3d tracker footage so i'm just going to go here and go into the tracker and just hit track camera all right so once your 3d camera tracker is done you should get all these points that you can select and whatever so once you have that you just want to select a few like good points that you want your text to be tracked to maybe just the car right here i'm just going to select that and hit create text and camera so it creates text and then also a camera that you can use i'm just going to rename this to like tylo now what we want to do is create a new solid so go up to layer new and then solid and then just hit okay now we can go ahead and apply our element 3d so just bring in this element right here and before we go into the scene setup we have to set up a few things here so so down in the custom layers we want to go to path layer one and make sure that this is our text and then for our custom some texture maps let's change this to our footage and then for the render settings you want to go down to physical environment and make sure that is also your footage um, but yeah once you have that you should be set so then you can go into the scene setup and the first thing that i want to do is load in our hgri that we kind of created so just go into environment and then custom layer one and you won't see anything so if you hit environment you can kind of see what it did here it kind of created like an hgri from your footage and that's just going to make the text look more realistic now we can just hit extrude here and you should be able to see your text and if you want this to be thicker we can go into our text here the bevel and just extrude this we can also mess with the different colors here so i can make it to like a light blue or something same thing with the reflectivity here um, and then bring up the intensity and then for the refraction i just did like a darker blue at 50 percent and yeah that should be good so once we have that we can just hit ok and you should see that you have your 3d text now and i'm just going to go ahead and hide this original text layer here because we don't need to be seeing that anymore so yeah we have our 3d track text here we can go back into this solid here and go into group one and then with the position here we can move it around to where we want it to be in our footage here you can also go into the particle look here and scale it down now if you want to animate your text and make the letters like rotate around what you can do is go into the multi-object and enable it and then go to this last rotation one i'm pretty sure it's called like rotation random or something and we're just gonna bring this to like 90 or maybe that's a little bit too much so like 70 and instead of keyframe at the start of our timeline and we can just go to like the end and bring this to zero so now you can see your text is like rotated around uh, for each letter inside the deform properties here you can mess with this if you want um, we can enable bend uh, make the bend distortion 90 and then you can mess with the bend angle right here um, that's up to you guys if you want to mess with that i'll kind of keep it a little subtle now inside the ambient inclusion here let's just go ahead and enable this and i'm going to bring the intensity up to like 14 so you can kind of see as like shadows around the text which is going to make it look like more realistic now if you're not liking like the colors of your text or whatever and you want to go back and change it you can always go back into the scene setup here and inside the presets we can go into the physical and you should have some default uh, presets here that you can just throw onto your text so like chrome if you just drag it onto your text you can see it applies like this chrome effect um gold i think i'm gonna actually change it to this and see how that looks and i feel like it just matches the scene a little bit better now another thing we can add is a light so if we go up to layer new light let's just bring in a spotlight here i'm gonna bring the intensity to like 300 um, we're just gonna hit okay on this and we can move this light around and then go into the rotation here and just kind of rotate it around now the last effects i'm going to use are just like some glow and different uh color grading methods just to make the text blend in a little bit better so what i'm going to do is duplicate this black solid here and then go up here and add deep glow so let's just bring it onto our clip here make sure that this is toggled on for the text and i'm just going to bring the exposure down to like 0 0.3 and then i'm just going to create an adjustment layer and we're going to apply an effect called shine now these effects are plugins um, so if you don't have these, then you can't really add these different effects, but you can pretty much get the same effect using some different built-in effects instead of After Effects, but I just like using these different plugins because I feel like it gives like the best result. And I'm going to change the colorize to one color and just make it like an orange color to match the text here. And I also went ahead and lowered the shine opacity to like 60%. Now the last thing I went ahead and did is just apply some like color grades. So as you can see, this is before and this is after. I just went ahead and applied just some LUT I had and then 
some basic color corrections here. So yeah, this just kind of makes everything come together and kind of make it look, I guess, more realistic, even though obviously it's not realistic at all. That is pretty much how you create 3D text inside of your videos. If this was helpful for you guys at all, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.